All right. Um, this is my garage, and uh, because I'm an IT guy, self-employed. Okay, I come across a ton of computers that are being disposed of, and I've um, been doing this for about. Let's see. I started uh, started the business back in '91 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Moved to California with the Navy, and uh, and then uh, I'm here in Southern Maryland. It's kind of dark down there, but they go all the way down. I'm going to go over and up again. Okay, and uh, my little treasure is right here. This guy right here. It's an 8086. And my, I think it's an 8088, an 8-bit board. 8086 is a 16-bit board. So that's uh, all dip chips on there. And anyway, that's my little, uh, my little baby I've had for, since it was conceived, I think. <laughs> all right, and that's back to the top. We're coming down this row. That's a Pentium 2 um, processor. I uh, didn't take that off the board, but I got two more that I'm going to be showing inside. Okay, and uh, going down to the bottom. If you notice, I have taken the processor off of most of these. And uh, the reason is uh, there be gold on those things. And I'll show you that when I get... There's a reason to take those things off and uh, try and melt them down. There's one right there I didn't get. I'll get that one soon. And uh, the last one I think I started over here anyway. This guy uh, has a little story behind it. Um, it, it came out of a Dell and uh, the customer actually spilled soda on top and guess what was on top? All the vents. Uh, that's when Dell used to put vents on top of the computer. So anyway this is uh, what I have outside. Um, and I uh, came through a lot more uh, motherboards than this because before I dispose of a computer to to the metal recycling place and actually get money for those for the metal, uh, I pull out some of the chips and everything. So well, let's go inside, take a look at some processors. All right, here we are in my uh, office again. I'm um, hoping that all this comes in nice and focused. Uh, we're going to start on the Intel side. This is a uh, until uh, I, it's called an I386. It was um, put out between 85 and 87. Uh, couldn't pry off a 286 uh, chip off a motherboard. They're soldered in. So um, anyway, uh, uh, what's nice about all this, look how long those pins are. They're tremendous. You know how much gold is in that? Haha. <laughs> The, uh, the object is to get the gold out of this. There are YouTube videos that tell you how to do that, okay? Uh, but it does take some time. And it probably takes a little bit of money, but I wonder if it's worth uh, the weight in gold. All right, so uh, it has all the information under here is uh, when it was made. And uh, there's dates on the, on the bottom uh, uh, right in here that it was made too. So um, we're going to move on to uh, IBM's um, 686. Okay, I showed you a, a board out there that um, was a 888, 8-bit. So a 686 is a 16-bit processor. So, so um, uh, what amazes me just how big this uh, this the board is, uh, this the card the card is for its time. Uh, so this this was made um, 85, 86, 87. I'm sorry, 95, 96, 97. I should have this in this spot. I have it. Uh, I have it uh, in the wrong area. So before this was the 486 SX. Um, this was made in uh, 98. That's my area. That it's in the wrong place. So this came after the 386, uh, and after the SX came the DX. Uh, I had a DX, um, and I put it. I actually jumpered it out to be an overdrive. And uh, the older techs know what that is. Uh, when we made, really made it uh, optimal uh, speed and all that. So this came in uh, 89. This one came out and it's stamped on here, uh, 95, 96, 97 USA, uh, by the Centrix Corporation. So guess what I got over there, 1997. Uh, let's get to where it's in focus here. All right, that's the Centrix, okay, uh, from 1997. So uh, from Centrix Corporation, uh, M M I I. So it's about the same time frame um, that the IBM's uh, stamp is on it. All right, so let's uh, move on to. I have a couple of these. These are uh, straight Pentium chips. 
92, 93 uh, time, time frame. Uh, a lot of gold on that one too. Uh, wait until you see uh, one of them that's way down that way. Uh, this is uh, Intel Pentium with MMX technology. Um, that's the trademark that was uh, given at the time. Really big thing. MMX made a, um, a processor work more efficiently. Uh, and it was in competition with the AMD as far as math coprocessing and so on. This was a uh, 92 to 95. All right. Um, this is a different version of it. It's an Intel Pentium with MMX. Uh, it's a faster processor, made about the same time. I have a couple of those. This came, uh, let's see, which one came first? Yeah, Pentium Pro came first. Look how big that card is. This is my hand. Look how big. Now this, this is a regular Intel chip, a Pentium chip. Look how big that is. This thing is huge. And look at all those pins. A couple of them bent. I tried doing some stuff with this before. I tried drilling a hole through this uh, to make a clock out of it and it didn't quite, <laughs> couldn't drill through it. It's huge. All right, Pentium Pro was the thing of uh, uh, 94 to 96, and then uh, it came along with the Millennium. And I have two of these here. Here's our Pentium 2. And actually, the Pentium 2 is uh, just this guy right here. This is the fan assembly that goes on it. I remember these all too well. All right, it's, uh, it takes a a slot and the slots indicated up here what kind of slot and guess what that is right there and I don't think you can see it too well I don't know if this is going to focus in that close but that looks like a QR code to me and we're talking back around 2000 with a QR code that looks like something like a QR code uh, that uh, we, we use our uh, cell phones to scan while we're in a, a store and find out about a product uh, or uh, go to a website anyway um, I have a couple of these this has a bigger heat sink on it Okay, and that's uh, another opinion, opinion too. And then we shoot up to uh, 2001 with Opinion 4. Much smaller chip. Look at the comparison between the chips. Much smaller chip. Okay, um, so uh, it's supposed to run cooler uh, than uh, the previous chips because uh, back in the Intel, the, this time frame, AMD actually had a cooler chip and was a preferred chip and actually the math coprocessing actually was better too. So there was a big competition between the two. Um, here's a 2001 also with a Xeon processor. These these came out of a Dell um, uh, PowerEdge uh, uh, server, uh, some big servers. Uh, a whole bunch of pins underneath that thing. A tremendous amount of pins. A very thin board and uh, technology is all inside that chip and underneath. All right, I have a couple of these. Let's go over to AMD. And here's a AMD 486DX4100. Old techs know what this is. <laughs> okay, I mean, uh, it was a sweet chip of its time. It was it was so much better than uh, it was so much better than the Intel chip at the time because the math coprocessing was just beautiful on it. Uh, then we go up to AMD uh, K6, all right, running at a uh, 233, all right, and um, then we move up to uh, the AMD uh, K6-2, running at a uh, 2 slash 500, 500 megahertz. So they started speeding up the clock speed on these things. Uh, this. I used to sell computers, and this is a chip that I used to put in those computers. So uh, I uh, started the business here in Calvert County, uh, Maryland, uh, about 2001. I think about 2002 is when I was actually putting these in. So I'm guessing around 2001, 2002. There's no date stamp on this, and really no numbers to go searching on the internet uh, on uh, that kind of that kind of chip. Uh, this is a AMD Athlon 64 times two, a 64-bit processor. All right, and it's got two cores in it. Look at those pins. That's a heck of a lot of gold. Uh, there's no other processor that has that that kind of that, that kind. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. That was my cell phone going off. Love it when that happens on a on a video. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the video minus the cell phone. All right. Um, I'll put that big, humongous uh, Pentium Pro up there. <laughs> uh, 
that's just impressive. That's just a tremendous, tremendous card. All right, hope you like the video. Share with a friend. It's something different. All right, enjoy. Bye.